I'm hearing the birds chirping. Chirp, chirp. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is a that is a cockadoo. I thought it was a peri. Mm -mm. All right. That's a Where? Cuckoo. That cuckoo. Yeah. Ah. Cuckoo is the rain bird. You got it right. Okay. So calling the rain. Yes. Why calling the rain? Because we are in Dumfries Estate, and mm -hmm. over two weeks ago, or three weeks, it was a Dumfries Maroon. Yeah, where we as the ancestors for rain, right? Yeah. And today we are on what was the Dumfries Estate? They see this is your area, you know. That's your bad. So tell me what used to happen here. Well, the whole thing used to be sugarcane. Well, in my time, yeah. So uh -huh. You would have been lying. Okay. Because we are in a special place now. We are on the original foundation where the house is. Uh -huh. where, you know. The, now it's cultivated in peace agriculture department. Uh -huh. This is the hub. Right. No. Right. Yeah. But in my era, seventies into the eighties, you know, sugar cane coming here and teeth cane. <laughs> All right, yeah. they see. Um, so we have and we are now on the, the original yes. line. Factory. And like many of the estates in Caracol, this was former a former cotton estate of before course. Lime. Mm -hmm. We are on uh, the Dumfries estate, Dumfries and Limle. They were the two two biggest estates in Caracol back then, right? Yeah. And today we have with us. We were fortunate enough to, to have, have historian with us. Caracol's historian. Yeah. Yeah. You say stand up there, Basie. Yeah, and he's just there and he's waiting. Yeah, there and Hi, Tracy. Tracy, come out and be peace. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to show that video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> original, basically. Yeah. Donkey? The original donkey. All right. And we have the with us. Original transport. Yes, man. And in the donkey bray one time, you know. Mm -hmm. I hear the donkey brain. Oh, this is what they, they normally make castor oil. So that's castor oil tree. Mm -hmm. You have, to, uh, you have to have a variety, yeah? Okay. Other when, variety, the pot be smooth. Ah. When, long ago when we had FIFA, mommy used to put that on us and tie it up. Yes. But the people used to boil it and make kettle oil to drink it for wash out. Okay. Yeah. Well, engine. That's what we do know. We're here today and we want you to take us around. Tell us what used to happen here when well, you was a boy, what you remember and everything. When I, boy, when, I, when I was a boy, uh -huh. the land party was operating here. The boss, the four man, them lived there, the servant and everything. Lives where? And lives in the, the same house they built those Okay, so it and had a house before and then they rebuilt this one? No, that was no, the servant right. house. Yeah. Okay. The servant used to live there, the servant is looking after. So the building the behind is talking about. Oh, so, okay, so the building behind, all right, so we'll show that after. Mm -hmm. So that was the great house? This was the great house there, the old house. Oh, okay, so right on the ground here. And nothing did do the house. Mm -hmm. Okay. The old house were wicked, in my opinion. <laughs> I see so too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you see, a lot, of, a lot of people do not know the history and why and we have things. Eh? In lime time. When you come here, everybody come in and sell the lime. All the way she over there was lime, bag of lime, everywhere is lime. So all on the ground. No bag. This one bringing twin bag. This so, and they line it up out there? So, mm -hmm. when you come here, the scale used to be right on the ground there. So, like right here? You come and you weigh your lime. Uh huh. You for man take your note of your lime. Mm -hmm. And you leave your lime and you go. Mm -hmm. On Saturday, you come and collect your key. All the lime come in here because we have the lime feed the machine feeding from. Okay. And they have men lifting up the bag of limes. Yeah, you so full of lime. I hope so. Like uh, here? I, that's why this bill with a shoot. You, you see how it build? Right. So a man will shovel on this door and a man on that door. These two windows was the entry to the... Okay, so that's why you build with a slant and you just yeah. run down to the right. side. So the man them with the shovel, okay. feeding the machine, feeding the meal, mm. sending lime inside. Okay. Let me, have a, let me go inside, let me show you the operation. 
All right, so they feed here and then we go inside. So that's the reason for it. Right, so basically we are about to enter. Drizzy, mm -hmm. you're there? Yeah. All right, Drizzy, knowledge, little, eh? a little boy I used to play inside here. Really? Yeah, man. Drizzy, is it your first time here? This is my first time here. Yeah. Okay. My first time in over 15 years. Okay. Could be 20 years too. All right, so we're entering the Lime Estate. Oh, lots of bats. There no bats. That's what? Oh. Oh. Owl. Owl. Oh, yes. I think it's the first time I'm seeing one. Yes. Hear them. And then they stay on Okay. I'm trying to get it on camera though. Come back, come back, come back, Oli. Come back. No. All right. One coming. You're getting it? I'm seeing one of them. You All right. So, them? engine, we're here. All your was through. Upstairs here, you know, you should store all the land use. All so, the this was two floors. Downstairs. Okay, so upstairs. This is where they used to store all the, the land use in class after the um, boiling. Okay, so after boiling. 100 or 100 of class in the floor in here. That's the top one. Mm -hmm. And downstairs, they used to call it the can house. The corn house. That Why? leads to all the government corn and all the government produce. Okay. Mm, don't say it's here. And and that thing across there, which looks like a basin, what was that? Yeah, that um, a big kind of copper right there. You know? Right. So this was the storage part. So mm. okay. Oh, Very storage. And you see here. Here's where the boiler is set up. That's the house. With the boiler lime juice. All right, the boiler for the lime juice? It was right here. So right where you're standing? It was about, let me say six feet high. And a big stand, two big damn brass container to boil. Now, before the other boiling lime juice was steam boiled. You see this pipe? This pipe is about carrying the heat to boil the lime juice. You see all them things here we cover up with it so when you can't tell that all the work, all this high and you see fire with heat we pass into here. Yeah. So that is that white dirt? That's that thing they call asbestos. Oh, it's poisonous. You cover heat to it, you don't observe heat to it. Because people walk in here. Mm. And sometimes I happen to touch this. Okay. So the security, if you touch it, if you touch it, if you touch it, you it would be warm. Right. So the, um, the, the, yeah, the, um, the back one at all. No. Okay. It's all bushed out. Mm -hmm. You see that big thing we fall for long day? Base where they used to push the firewood. They saw how much car wood on the ground. The so this wrong tank? Yeah. And you're pushing the, you're putting the fire to that. So it was always on the ground like that? No, you were standing there just for long. Okay. And this same iron connect to it. Okay. So the steam from the fire are coming through this line. Right. And listen, before we go back inside, these were what? No. You see that on the other side there? This is what you call, we call it the vat. Now, that you cool the engine. When the engine running, you see water spraying and wetting down all them pipes. Okay. To keep the pipe temperature regulated properly. And then they used to have a gauge. You cook somewhere here. When the man, the man who feed in the fire, giving the, um, the fire to the boiler to put, put the heat, mm -hmm. the gauge are telling you the temperature, when to slow down on your fire or when to give more, so that the boiler could get enough heat to boil the lime juice here. Okay, so this when extend the juice, all the way around. The here, I'm talking about thousands of year lands that the continent yeah. are moving. Mm -hmm. Then, 
One lifetime, all them castles need to repair. We used to have a man from Mongal called Mr. Jonathan Dick. Yeah. He was the keeper of making them cast and repair them. Yeah. So that is his job to make sure all them cast is in order. And then the, the, from the, you have a pipe from the boy, the boy, the container that have the lime juice to the cast and full up and all them cast. Right, right. And then the chop come. When the boat come and everything go to this shipment yeah. to go to England. Now, when this factory closed down, mm -hmm. let me show you what was the problem when this factory closed down. Because I was not. Now the operation of the factory was through here. The feeling is like that thing like a phone will come to here. Some a lamp is a bold thing like, like a big drain. Mm -hmm. So when the lamp comes out from here, it comes in here into the phone. And this is where crush the line. This was the fact. The, the, the crusher. Right, the crusher. Right. So this spin, he had an engine there with belt. Mm -hmm. So he pulled this and spin it. And this is what caused the end of the lamp crushing here. This thing break. Oh really? And then they bring it and they weld it. And when they come back with it, it break the same place. Okay, then well good. And it never been repaired. Alright. So the fact you stop crush line. Wow. Mm. No. What are the line is to get crushed? Okay. The phone here. Wait, hold on, I'm coming, Angie, I'm coming. I'm coming. Right. The fact the line now come through the, mm -hmm. come through here, yeah. on the factory, while well, that's spinning, when that spin, you spin this two thing. And the line goes through here, and you squeeze the line here. Okay. Ah. And like the pulp, the pulp coming through here, you have a little thing here. So, all right, so it connected from here? Come across here and connect it there. Right, so you had something connecting from here to across here? That sends the pulp here, separate from the line. The juice goes separate, the mm -hmm. pulp goes separate, and the skin goes out, goes out. Outside? In the back there. Okay. So you come in and pick up bag of lime skin to feed your core and whatever. Now the little thing here. Right, so you come. You see this? Right. So you said this one was for the pulp? Yeah. And you see this? This here, the setup right. right here on them thing there. Right, so this. So mm -hmm. this here is who drive whatever you want. Drive one engine to operate everything. But you drive by belt, that long belts. Like if you want to you run this, you just. Put the belt on this and then this just start to run. Mm. Okay. All these things here is for belt to drive whatever yeah, you yeah. want. They have a belt. So whatever piece of implement you want to use, you run the you, you attach the belt yeah, around this. And then you spin and it will do operate what, what, you, do, what, what you, you want, want it to, to do. do. And the little engine, the right here. Oh, it still spins, isn't it? Yeah. No, that table, this year, don't belong to here. You know what this was? Oh, this is? This coming from the cotton gin. Oh, this okay. is what used to gin the cotton, take away the seed oh, okay. from the cotton. Right. So after it was the, from after the former estate. they get rid of the museum, they come and they bring all the things from the... Museum and put it here? Not the museum, the cotton. Factory. You're right, yes, and make the cotton chain into the look, museum. Okay. This is all this. I see cotton Ah. Yes, it looks like, look like the, the cotton. cotton. Yes, yeah, man, that looks like it. No, this is the first stage. This is everything on my belt, but this used to take place in the town. Right. You see they have now the, um, the museum. The museum. So that was so the cotton ginery. All them teeth here is to cut the cotton and to get it in and process it and bring it and the, the last stage he passed through that. Okay, so this big stage and then he 
come to all this and that is the same. The only the, the same meaning the hospital and all these things uh -huh. is this woman Make who, it. who find it up to that. So from here, the cotton will, all the seeds, which have this you take away all the seeds from the cotton. So this takes this. And then this is the means that we mince the cotton. Right. To bring yes. it to what you call wool, what it does use in the hospital. For so this you one's for the removal of the seed, and this one is to mince the wool. So these, it, these pieces of things belong to the gene, cotton gene. Right, that's where the museum is located this now. It belongs to the factory here. All right, so this the part. The engine was here. Okay, you could tell that's an engine, of course. Look what it's set up here. Yeah, will you come in here and crank the engine? Okay. I smell in the oil. Yeah. <laughs> I smell the oil. When you crank the engine, then, you, if you notice, the engine is belt. Yeah, it's all belted. Yeah. yeah and plenty of yeah. time, the belt used to take plenty of the workers here. Yeah. Sometimes them lady passing over when they and he catch the frack. Yeah. And pulling and them pull up them. in, if you look careful, is it? Yeah, he's either he take you and he will take away your skirt. Yeah, the, yeah. the machine used to put enough lady naked inside here. Yeah. When they make you less. Mm -hmm. yeah, you gotta be I think the last too. person this thing take was Sister you know? mm. Gwendolyn, the mother. Right. Then the last I could remember. So now, this is all the procedure. If you notice, this is not the white mud engine? The white dirt no, thing? No, that is your color asbestos. It look like that is heat resistant paste. Asbestos? It's poisonous. Right. It yes, it poisonous. is. It is. So the line juice traveling all through here is being. Mm. Mm. And yeah, if you see all where bees that have that as the asbestos. That means heat we can see through the eye. Yeah, that, that so you see all of the line this is to travel mm -hmm. to get to the get boiler. To the boiler, right? The boiling chamber. Okay. The boiling chamber. All right. The boiling chamber used to be down there with some big pipe, so you could open where you want to. Let where you want, want you can to direct your juice to wherever you want. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then let me see if I could see the chimney from here. So. Once you light up and you, you juice, well, after you juice, the burn process, let me see if I could get the, the chimney. So that's where you see all the smoke coming through. Yeah. Okay. okay yeah. Can you? Come on. All right. And that, that was constructed in, the, in 1930, yeah? Okay. Okay. All right. So once you see smoking, no, inside, yeah. so engine, so they used to boil the juice every day? No. Okay. There is How often? So, oh, so this. Because they crush every day. So, okay. mm -hmm. not every day people will see smoke down here? No. I like smoke. And sometimes, they used to have a thing, I like the food, it when a little bit for sperm come here. You give a loud song, you used to call it the... The boiler, you know, when you release the air temperature. Mm -hmm. No, that is what they used to use. For you see where the airport is, all the way down the state line. So all the workers on that S along to the sea, where the airport was. No, no airport there. Was lime and coconut. Twelve o'clock, tw eight o'clock in the morning. You let it. You hear it is this thing blow. Yes. It's not in Mongolia. And you hear it, that means 8 o'clock, you're supposed to take work because we build in our watch, yeah. carrying on. Mm -hmm. 12 o'clock, it blow again, that means lunch time. Oh, really? 1 o'clock, it blow, That's go back so to work. So many, real loud. 4 o'clock, it blow, knock off time. So everybody where you're walking, you, you leave, you fight and listen for the buyer. Yeah. Okay. So we call it. Okay. Because when it blow, Anywhere you're doing the estate, you will hear. You will hear. So this hole, that that's where like they time check. Huh? Well, this hole. Oh, you have a, you used to have a pump. Oh, I should call it. You used to have a, like when the lime, the lime juice mm -hmm. and the seed 
and everything. He come in Nigeria and they have a big piece of copper, like the size that is maybe four by eight, six by eight, or six by four, six by whatever size it is. Cover up this thing here, like so you could walk, you could stand up over it, and you're doing inside there with your bag on the end, front, you like in front, and you're doing it all the time, shaking out to make sure the holes clear from the pulp so that the things, the pulp could go down and then it chow away the seeds. Right, right. So it's like a strainer. A strainer, not like a strainer. That has, you have to strain the um, pulp from the whatever. And you saw have a little thing here, man. When it is boiling and it's thing here, man, it's used to send out a kind of fumes. Sometimes you have to open it and let the fumes go out and you close it again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, interesting. And all here, all here. Right, this all thing. Way, you see, like that, then set up. You there. see it there? So, what over, <laughs> whatever work you need the engine to do, you just use a belt and, on a pool. And convey it and whatsoever you want to do. Yeah. So, if it's to make the perfume. Well, none of the perfume they're making here is the raw material. The raw material, I mean, the, the... All the, the things they used to do is the rind. crush the lime, take away the rind, take away the pulp, take away the seeds, take away the skin, the fresh lime juice, clear of water, would go to the, to boiler, the boiler and get boiled and cast the ship away. Right, right. And then we have the pulp. That, that so used to be... Sometimes we take home some. We call it the lime oil. That's good for coal. You grow up with that. That used to be separated. All that shipping away. What we take in and go home with like a bottle before we rub with skin. We're not even supposed to do it, but we are long. Okay. Right. Okay. Lime a car. Mm. And on, on Saturday when you come in the factory, yeah, there's like it's a fet. Because the amount of people working on the estate. And Saturday is payday, so everybody meeting up in the factory, yeah, they for the payday. So you are listening like cook food or something? No. Or not really? We do have Drinks? Go. Unless we have been something a little recess for some whatever reason. Okay. And you did not have to scratch your foot here before man on you, you had to do the government work. So you remember who owned it? Government. Okay. Mm -hmm. Government owned everything. And what year it started? Well, this before this was a cotton yes. industry here, mm -hmm. and around 1930 being con converted into lime. And before the government moved it from cotton to lime, they had dialogue with the people and let the people understand long before what are their intents. Because if you're going to move from cotton to lime, you have enough time. No. So, do you know why they moved from cotton to lime? Because the lime was more economical. So what? That time cotton was going out of business? Not really going out, you know. But there was so much, everywhere was cotton. Right. So, so there was maybe, a fluctuation on the market? Well, maybe. Okay. And by that time, maybe other places start to grow their own cotton. And like, in the nowhere, um, Pakistan, and all them places, they, they get the skill, whether well, they get it from England or mm -hmm. They were growing their own cotton. That's when cotton, that's why cotton come out of here. Because uh, there was not a demand again in England for cotton or cotton material. Because okay. other countries start producing their own cotton and producing their own material. Mass production, right. Good. So that is why one of the things helped them to divert. Into to right. right, so we were saying, most of the estates in Caracol started as cotton. Um, some of them also produced sugar cane, about five or so of them, sugar cane, mm -hmm. and then, well, Crickstan and Dumfries lime. But you remember, you well, remember... Crickstan and Dumfries was not to say really lime, because uh -huh. Crickstan was private. Right. Kent owned Dumfries. No, so Kent owned Cr Crickstan. Crickstan. Right. But it was a Ningo estate mm -hmm. and Coco. Okay. Before, it come, before Ken put it into line.
to Ningo where Ningo well in Tibo. That is in Tibo. So he had in two. Tibo also was a Ningo estate. Uh -huh. With a Ningo, the color blue Ningo. Yes. Come from that tree. Now that thing they did Ningo tree now. He grow wild here. Yes. Up to now, did you see like this? Of course, there are yeah, some yes, outside. Some outside yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's So that is why we go most Ningo. We have to study then of which land mm -hmm. adopt the best to do this. Right. Right, so you were saying Dumfries had very fertile land? The most fertile soil. And Carrico is, is Dumfries here. Who originally owned the Dumfries estate? Well, as far as history tells me, it was a woman from Scotland called Mrs. Dumfries. We just say, Madam Dumfries. That's how the place remained with the name up to today. As most of the estates in Carrico. Yeah. Yes, and then, name after the owner. After the slave, the uh, emancipation, when coming to emancipation, the slave, the slave master started to ask for compensation, the good compensation. Miss Dunfries was one of the persons with some sympathy for she workers. Okay. And there was no compensation for she workers, so she lived the estate for the workers. People of Kariyeku and Pitimani. That was referring to the people from the, the Bell Mountain, Monroe Island right. vicinity area. Right, right, right. That is when the England come in because England in, was in charge of this country. Of course. Colonial. Yeah. Although he had French black and like Mr. Bosses, he was a Frenchman. But England had limit them. The among the land, the among the privilege the, the, they can have here. Right, right. So that was England was the sole decision taker. So England decided, Madam Fusilli estate to all the workers here. We will come in to make sure that the workers equally benefit. Right, right. To distribute it. And when England come, the first thing they say, who walk would own what they walk. Right. That's how they come and you see from here, all of this is all we sell here now. But there's some wrong business we make. Toby and Samuel and you and end up with all here. They, that is how you see our better states. Kamun, all that is done, freeze it, done, done freeze yes. mm. yeah, All the same. outside, same that's a bigger, what you call, pipe than a um, tall pipe that was called it. Uh, this corner was the recording corner. Uh -huh. The former, the Romano keeping record, he had a little table, and he had a little alley, little thing here, and after they bring a big clock and put over your head there. So when you come here, this man you have to come to. Okay. You sit down right in the corner in the here. Corner here. So in other words, there's where the businesses that take place in the corner here. Right. So Giselle. G G Hi. When you go when you when you go back to the States, when you're returning home, you'll bring all your friends with you to see here, right? Especially. Yeah. You're very impressed with what you saw. Yeah, I'm out of London too. <laughs> yeah, same here. What? So, where they used to get water from it? The well? Where I'm standing here is a big cistern. Then the cistern itself was galvanized cover to make sure it can't put water into the cistern. Okay. Because it was a huge system to make sure the whole village benefits. And the well is right to the back there. The well is right in there. Mm. Now when you're passing here like little boy, when the boil are going, we like little boy standing up because they have um, two like 245 degree pipe to pipe from the next send in the water. The way they want, and it's when the boy is spraying water up, but the water now, the same catchment here, yeah? mm -hmm. the water coming and fall back inside here. Yeah? The water didn't rotate itself, you rotate itself, right? So Nothing that was the purpose 
at this in here to make sure that save the same water that right. cools the in the um do the cooling of the factory right right so you see what has caught this one fell into this one that hmm. fell into that one and like children it takes pleasure to watch your yeah, yeah. <laughs> From the inside, we were viewing this, and you've been saying it was connected to something inside. Tell us again. We put it to boil the lime juice. The fire comes to this, and the pipe connects to this, so the heat, the steam, go to steam boil the you see the inside there. Mm. Government used to be paying man to cut it by the card. Chuck load and come and rest it here. So the man, you only feed in the boiler, feed in the boiler with fire, to be in it with point blame. So you have to have a special amount of heat coming from here to go through there to boil the lime juice. Yeah, that yeah. is why you had a gauge to tell you the temperature. So the man was feeling I could take a five, he have enough heat now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. It just, it just happened that we fall and we can get to the side. We need to load the wood. Okay, right, right. It's like a furnace. Yes, you have a big fat over this thing. We're sending the wood. Yeah, right. And then the thing was born and born and wood now and everything. And they make this with a red block. Heat, sir. Red block. Heat. Heat. Watch this thing behind you there. Oh, some tea. Red block, man. Find one on the ground. We call it red brick. Red, red brick. And all them brick have come out in England, eh? Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. You have a place behind here, you have some back in there. It says so. Yes, engine. You have your info, man. Engine brought us to it. 1930. Engine, field. you're the master. High five. Mm -hmm. You're the master. Yes. You're the master. Like little boy, this yeah. way, yeah, where we used to play until I become adult. Okay. Because my brother walking here, my mother used to walk here. Okay. And my mother going to England in 1958. What that duty behind you, eh? Yeah. Nice, 1930, man. Yeah, my brother walk here until he go to England. My brother go in England in 1961. Okay. Nice. That's me and born yet, you know? Who you that? That's me and born yet. That's me and born yet. That's me and born yet. That's me and born That's me and born yet. That's me and born yet. Your mommy in school. Mommy born in 1940-something. No, I'm talking about the time they're um, attacking at their wrong here. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So we could have just go out here. Yeah? Nearly, you used to play cricket here. I found your bat. Yeah. I tell you, we used to play cricket here, Mr. Barat, man. <laughs> yes, I found a bat. All right, so we're in the basement now. You said here was the storeroom, right? Mm -hmm. We call it a new year, a new year, a call it, I call it the corn house. The corn house. And all, um, all the tools was here. used to store it all down here, too. Mm. That was a storage room. Okay. I make it. <laughs> We're in the con house. And you could uh, that's like you are spot on you know. Look the range for the for the cast then. Oh, oh yes. Yes. Just, you call it the stay. The stay. What we call it barrel stay. Barrel stay? Barrel jack. You stay on the bar, the bowl put together and keep the cast. Yeah, some boys live in here, man. Yes, but that's the barrel. The barrel is old. You think I know where you're heading, man? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Sometimes they have important things here that we need today, and we just don't do yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm very much impressed with what I'm seeing. Now, can you see this piece? This is the 
This piece comes out from the, the crusher. Okay. We crush in the line. Ah. And everything just gets to show away here. Uh, nobody cares. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So all the lime juice, this was the boiler, all the lime juice between the pipe and the fire, the heat outside. You understand what I'm saying? How we make up? The juice travel between here when you connect, all the juice they here. And the heat outside, then all this thing here would be out in the heat, so they, they boil it. Mm. And you had to release pipe to release the juice to wherever you want it. So in other words. Wow. Do you think that's some history here, man? Yeah. You see all them pipe there? Yes, yes, yes. All them pipe there. Well connected to the boiler. But the heat we're going through here going through. been properly regulated by okay. a gate to tell you the harmonica heat we're going through here. Okay. Yeah. Got it. I'm learning. I'm learning. And what happened? This is the command boss. Uh -huh. The bailer boss. And the okay. man who is so fit here to fire. We really say, the key we boss the bailer, he did too much of fire. Wait, what's name? Well, nobody knows <laughs> because the boiler not supposed to be be too much fire. No. And this time, I now experience to know what is the amount of fire or not with the same thing because the boiler boss. Right, right. But the boiler have its time. Exactly, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Everything at a so time, so that was it. Naturally, yeah. You see the setup here? Yeah. All this form part of the Dumfries estate. I think you have oh. now could build this. Yeah. All this. And it, consider what the man had like material for building. Exactly. To compare with what they have today. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is the second chimney. It is the second chimney. So chimney number one, which is the tallest. And chimney number two. Hmm. Our four parents worked really hard, eh? Mm -hmm. I am so impressed with what I'm saying today. Design and that. I know. And folks, this is an educational one. Yeah. Listen, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And tip us. This is a very, very much yeah. educational and documental explore today you know yeah. it brings back a lot of memories yeah and I hope for you to get more just remember the link, the link will be posted mm -hmm. send us some donations so we can get this and more to come all right so next time we'll come back and give a tour of this building um what it was engine will tell us so thank you very much for viewing and as basically says please share, like, please comment, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to, to tip us. Thank you very much to all who's those who tipped before and will continue as we bring you what Kaiku and Pity Man has to offer. Thank you and have yourselves a blessed and protective, productive day. Bye.